The Valley has experienced some extreme heat this summer. The high temps not only take a toll on us, but are also on nature. You may have noticed trees around your neighborhood that look distressed or dying. Fox 5's Les Criverton shares the ongoing impacts of the sun's force. The hot temperatures we've experienced here in the valley through most of the summer has had an impact on our trees, according to one expert we talked to. We're coming off a, a really hot June and, and a hot July. And those temperatures are not only beating us up, it's doing a number on our plants, shrubs, and especially our trees here in the valley. Look around. It won't take long for you to see lots of established trees that are looking like they are dying with cracked bark and brown leaves and even dead limbs. So can we fix this problem? And if so, how should we do it? We need some vitamins and long, deep cycles of water. According to Moon Nursery's Matthew Fischera, the vitamins are nutrients that will help strengthen the rooting system. As for the trees with dying or dead limbs, those trees have gone into survival mode. It's trying to stay alive. It's, it's really, it's in fight mode right now. It's keeping its strong limbs and it's, it's weakening off the other ones and killing them off just to keep the other stuff alive. The method of watering will go a long way in helping you save the trees that you have. Outdoor water use is an issue here in the valley as we continue to try to save our allotment of Colorado River water. The sheriff says you can do both. His advice, get rid of overhead spraying systems in favor of drippers. They are much more efficient and in the long run will actually save on water consumption. According to the Southern Nevada Water Authority website, we can water our lawns three times a day for four minutes per cycle. Plants, shrubs and trees are also under restrictions, but there's greater flexibility because they should be on drippers. Drippers are more efficient and according to Vachera, are a better way for plants and shrubs and trees to survive. The drip cycle we can do as long as we need for your type of plant, right? So it's something where we want that nice deep cycle and it'll actually be less water over the long term because we're going to give it a nice drink and then let it dry. That method will help the roots go deeper, increasing its survivability. As for the limbs that are dead, get rid of them because they can be dangerous. Les Griffin, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.